So the Showstoppers local winter shopping extravaganza is coming. We'll find out more about that in moments. But right now we have some local, I guess, inventors, artisans. What would you guys like to be called? First of all, let's start with uh, Talene uh, Durian, who is the co-owner, collaborator, collaborator with the uh, Morningwood Collective. Yeah. Are you are you an um, an artisan? Are you an inventor? Um, I would consider myself a maker. A I guess. maker. Yeah. Uh, I didn't use that word. Yeah, well, yeah. now you have a new one. There you All go. Right, you're maker. A maker. Sure. We'll find out about your product in moments. Okay. Uh, Julie Dorian is with us as well, the owner and creator with undercarriage deodorant, which is very unique. Now, first of all, uh, Talene, where are you based out of? So we're based out of Ottawa. Okay. Um, uh, there, was a, there was a time that we were making them ourselves, but uh, recently, um, after a successful Kickstarter campaign, we engaged a local organization called Echo Equitable, mm -hmm. which is a social enterprise that empowers um, vulnerable and immigrant women uh, by teaching them how to sew, mm. so that they're ready to go out into uh, the workplace as tailors, seamstresses, whatever it is that they need to do. So it's actually those ladies and that is social enterprise that are now making oh. every one of our Interesting. One of logs. Yeah, and you'll okay. find a tag in each one of them. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Julie, where are you based out of? Um, we're based out of Ottawa as well. Yeah. Are you a maker? I'm a maker. Yeah, you're not an inventor. I'm a maker baker. <laughs> <laughs> what would the difference be though between a maker and an inventor? Because you sort of you put this product together, right? You yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I did. So yeah. So it's a it's a natural safe deodorant. Yeah. And it's a deodorant for under the arms, under the breasts, and under the belts. So wherever you sweat or you, where you chafe. Okay. And it has natural ingredients, uh, essential oils for fragrance. Um, it's a safe product. So, so how did you come up with this idea? Um, I was trying natural products. I, I, ha I grew up with a lot of allergies, and um, I clean my house with non-toxic non -toxic products. And I felt that, you know, I'm still putting deodorant on antiperspirants. Mm -hmm. So I decided to um, mix up a... Um, my own deodorant and then friends started to test and wanted to buy and then we thought well let's bring it to market okay and so we launched it in August just this past August 2016 and it's been very busy oh congratulations yeah, thank you uh, so how do you manufacture this product then because it's not you can't just do this out of your house right yeah actually we're still in the house are you really we are we, we built out a lab in the basement and uh, so we're still mixing out a home and um, I'm not sure how, how much longer we can do it. Yeah, yeah which, which is a good problem to Yeah, have. it's a good problem. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, interesting. All right, so, um, and, and Talene, you've mm -hmm. got an interesting product here, so I'm trying to figure out exactly. Yeah. It's, uh, now you have her product in here as well, I do. right? Okay. So this is actually, uh, it's a log pillow. Yeah. But, you know, there are a lot of log pillows out there on the market, but this one is special in that it has a, um, a secret hiding place. It's, so the pillow itself is yeah, about 15 inches in long, and you've got about a 14 inch hiding place that goes all the way in there. So originally, it was a kind of a tongue in cheek idea for um, people to be able to hide their toys. So really? if you wanted easy access to your toys or condoms or, or things of that nature, condoms. you could just hide them. Yeah, so that's hence the name wow. Morning Wood. <laughs> Whoa. Um, but <laughs> Whoa. this has evolved into kind of uh, exactly, this is what a lot of people do. This has evolved into um, a system that, that works for kids, for you know dads who want to hide the remote control because the kids keep losing them. So it's just it's a, it's a place to actually, it's a functional pillow. It's great for lumbar support, but you could also put whatever it is that you want inside the so, pillow. So you probably shouldn't share one with your kids though, right? You can. Well, no, because. No, it depends on what you're doing with it, obviously. Because you know, yeah. you're hiding stuff in there, right? Exactly. And you could actually give a couple to the kids and then they, they, could, they could beat each other up with it. Yeah, like, look if, at this, you, if you, you know? check our Instagram account, you know, um, you'll be able to see them. a couple kids doing some that very same thing with some of these pillows. But Morning wood pillows. Yeah. So we've uh, <laughs> we've we've noticed that people kind of decide what they want to use them for yeah. and, and go for it. I so. think that's really cool. I mean it is obviously very cool. I, I think that, you know all joking aside, you just you threw me off with condoms there. So <laughs> Uh, you know, what are those? Uh, so anyway, um, <clears throat> this is getting really weird. So yeah. where uh, where did you come up with this idea, though? Uh, it came out of um, a conversation that we were having when I discovered this material. And so my business partner and I it just came out of this kind of brainstorm mm -hmm. that, came, that kind of evolved from a simple pillow yeah. to a log because of the nature of this, uh, this uh, pattern, which is a Joel Dewberry design. And... Um, it just went from there. I'm not going to ask you why you decided to call it Morningwood, though, like where, where the inspiration came from. The, well, the, uh, obviously the inspiration came from the initial idea for what this was meant to do, to yeah. be like a, you know, an adult toy hiding place. Yeah. And then the name stuck because every time we said it, people kind of just went, I get it. That's really okay. good. Let's so, just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, so obviously you guys are going to be all set up at the uh, Showstoppers local winter uh, shopping extravaganza this weekend. Uh, where else can we find these products? 
So you can find us online. Uh, we're in a couple of retail uh, stores. You can check mm -hmm. our website for that. Uh, but do come and see us uh, this Saturday and Sunday at Showstoppers. It's a great event. It's really well curated, excellent makers. Um, if you want to buy some chocolate, it will be the best chocolate. Yeah. Chunk soaps there, great yeah. soaps. Um, and it's just a fun venue. It's uh, a beautiful church, and uh, there will be 26 artists uh, painting um, a large painting for Briere. Mm -hmm. And they'll be painting on site this weekend, so come in and there's it's little also, events uh, happening. It's also dog friendly as well, so you can okay. bring your pets. And, okay. uh, yeah. and you're talking about the church, so we're talking about All Saints Church, which is at 317 Chapel Street? Right. Okay, do we have uh, admission prices and it's times? Free. free to get it's in. It's a free event. Mm -hmm. That's exceptional, that's yeah. a lot of fun. Okay, do we have the times though for this? Yeah, on mm. Saturday it is noon till seven, noon and then on Saturday is. noon till five on Sunday. Okay, uh, so Julie, you're a maker at this point. So, are, is there anything else on the horizon that you're thinking about? Uh, because once you get that bug right and you see how successful this has been, do you have any other ideas tinkering around? Or? Oh, we have. We actually have other products, but we're not releasing anything right now. We just really want to concentrate on this. We're having fun with this. I get a lot of emails with happy people saying. This actually works. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I feel fresh for a full 24 hours. You don't have to reapply. So right now, we're going to concentrate on this yeah, and um, and get into some more stores and um, make people happy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And, and this is your concentrating on morning for work now, for now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Um, your website quickly, Tylene. Oh, sorry. Uh, you can find us on, on Facebook right now at Morning Wood is Good, and mm -hmm. Shopify will uh, go in about a week. Okay, and in five seconds? On your carriage deodorant.com. Simple as that. Thank you very much. This Thank is a you. lot of fun. <laughs> All right, uh, more daytime tomorrow. I'll be here with uh, Julie Findlay. Tune in at 1 p.m.